Hello producers, it's Özgün here and today we are going to talk about 5 different sidechain techniques and how to apply them in FL Studio. Let's get into that tutorial. Alright, we are in the FL Studio right now and I just put some random kicks like this. And obviously we will need a bass line. I will just write some quick random notes. I think that will be enough. So the first technique will be Fruity Limiter. How do we sidechain with Fruity Limiter? That's really easy. Just load a Fruity Limiter to the bass channel. And from your kick channel, just right click the bass. And choose sidechain to this track. With this way, your kick signal will also route it to the bass channel and it will trigger the compressor. You can even do it like just clicking it and lower the amount of the signal that is going to the bass channel. In the bass channel, we will see Fruity Limiter is like this as default. Just go to the compressor mode and in the sidechain section, just right click it and you will see the, see the kick because we routed the kick to bass. That's why we are seeing the kick channel in here. Just choose it. Then all we have to do is lower the threshold, raise the ratio, maybe 2 to 1 is enough for me. And that's all. With this, when the kick hits, the limiter will duck the base. Like this. You see this curve, right? That means our bass is lowered the volume in terms of volume this much. So this is the strength of the sidechain. If I rise the knee, it will affect the sidechain curve like this. With the knee knob, you can determine how much compression do you want. And other than that, attack release and that's just simple stuff. You can tweak it as like as you want. Number two, LFO tool with MIDI triggering. Sometimes our kick pattern might not be for on the floor, like not hitting in every bar. Maybe our kick pattern is like this. This kind of situations, regular LFO tool will not work. You need to trigger it with the MIDI. So for this, I will just create a MIDI out in here. And you will see the MIDI port. Just maybe make it one. And come to the LFO tool. In the gear icon, click it. Near the settings, beneath the settings, you will see import port. Make it one because our MIDI out is sending the signal to to one and in the LFO tool you will get the signal from one so just match it and then create a pattern and in this pattern just write the MIDI information where the kick hits it should be like this yeah and we gotta draw our sidechain curve this should work and that's all. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you gotta click not retrig two times to activate the MIDI trigger. And let's see. Yeah, that's one of the best 
choices if your kick is not for on the floor and have a different pattern. Number three, C6. I really like C6 when I'm mixing rock music, metal music, po even pop music. If the track is acoustic track, I really love how the C6 behaves. So in this, I will just load a preset. This is my favorite. But the trick is you gotta use VST3 version. Uh, VST2 will not work in FL Studio. I don't know why. When you choose the preset, just go to the gear icon and go to the processing tab. You will see stereo aux in here. Just right click it and choose the kick because we already rooted the kick in our first step when I explained to 40 limiter, right? Just right click it, choose the kick. Now, when the kick hits, the sidechain compression will be applied. But this is multiband compression, multiband sidechain compression. That's why you can determine how much compression is going on in the low end or in the high end, and it really helps. For example, I want my bass be ducked too much, but I don't want my highs to get touched. And I can just I can just do it like this. Number four, forty p controller with some equalizer. I actually learned this method from Response YouTube channel, and I really use it a lot. I use it for sidechain reverb. It works so well. But in the kick and bass correlation, you can still use it too. It really works. And I will show you how. In, into the bass channel, just load a 40 peak controller. And you will see a volume knob here. This volume knob will act like a threshold knob. You will determine how much compression do you want, like this. When you decide, just load a, any equalizer I, I I use Fab Filter Pro Q3 and click the volume knob and write minus 999. Click enter and it, it will go minus infinity. That means it's mute, it's silence. So right click the fader here and click link to controller. And in here, just choose this one, peak and accept it. Now, when the kick hits, this will activate the Fab Filter Pro Q3 and it will lower the volume. You'll see. This is a really good way to sidechain and it's really clean. I recommend you to try this. And the last method, number five, volume automation. This is easiest way. It's not a pro way, but still most of the cases that will work. Just pick the area as long as your kick and go to your bass mixer channel and right click it and choose create automation clip. And you will see an automation clip for the bass channel. And draw your curve, anything you want. And put that under every kick. And that's all. Yeah, that was all. Today we talk about five different sidechain techniques in FL Studio. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will make more videos like this. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.